everyone. So we're here in Arlanda Airport and we are on our way to Berlin, Germany. Yep, that will be the uh, second to the last leg of this tour or this trip. So yeah, just have fun with us. Thank you. Subway, S-Bahn, no, U-Bahn. Visited their par uh, parliament building, which is the Richtag Tower, or the Richtag building. building. And the whole place is being set up for the marathon on 25th. So, all those steel pipes are covering the beauty of the place. <laughs> Same thing with Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> Hi! So as you can see behind us is the Brandenburg Gate of Berlin where the marathon will take place tomorrow. So I can't wait to pass through those pillars. So we're walking our way going to Checkpoint Charlie and like what I mentioned a while ago uh, we're going there to check on Charlie if he's always on point. See my wife skips it while I'm laughing every time I'm saying that. It's a way. And she loves the joke anyway. So it's a walking distance from Pats Daimer Platz and it's a 15 minutes walk so we're walking and we pass through Molo Berlin. At first you will not identify that it's a mall because it's kind of steep. It's almost the same establishments are building as everything here. So we're almost reaching Checkpoint Charlie. Part of the trip, everywhere we go, is to always see to it that part of the agenda or the itinerary is to visit a cathedral or a church. Welcome to the Berlin Cathedral, located on the Museum Island. This is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful church in the heart of the city and impossible to miss thanks to its striking dome. This stunning architectural marvel is a must visit for anyone traveling to Berlin. As you can see from the previous clips how magnificent the exterior looks, 
you will be in awe of the cathedral's breathtaking interior adorned with intricate details. Inside the church, try to look for the baptismal and wedding church, the imperial staircase, the cathedral museum, and the impressive dome. Exploring the Berlin Cathedral is not complete if you will not climb the dome or the viewing platform where the real magic is. I don't know how many steps that was. But it was a funny one. Yeah. I think I trained for the marathon. Finally, we made it! Welcome to the Berlin Cathedral Dome View Deck. As you make your way around the dome, prepare to be captivated by panoramic views of the city skyline. It's an experience that truly takes your breath away. So we're going, we just came from the Cathedral's Dome. It's overlooking part of Berlin and I was surprised, I'm not prepared for this. It's more than I think 250 to 300 steps going up. And I was surprised because, because you have, before you enter cathedral you have to pay for 9 euros per person. So I thought, why? What's the payment for? But when you enter, I seen the whole church was really amazing. It's so amazing. And then there's an arrow going up. So I thought it's something like a museum on the second floor. But then it's those are steps going up to the dome for a few deck. So we do reach the upper part. So we're walking again, going to Alexanderplatz, and we were able to pass by this area, and we believe it's a shopping commercial district. I think it's part now. Yeah, it's part, part of the Alexanderplatz. Too bad we just had our fika a while ago, our coffee break, after the Berlin Cathedral, because it was really a tiring visit. So we're approaching Alexanderplatz now, and it's something like the Times Square of New York. That's how it feels like for us, huh? because of the crowd, the noise, the ambience. So from Alexanderplatz, just a few steps away, you will be seeing this market. Part of it. 
so we're walking now going to Gendander Market. <laughs> we're in, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but as long as there's a market, that's okay. So we just used the underground train again. And this is what we just saw. Such a nice statue. Yeah, that is Friedrich or Frederick? Frederick the Second. Very detailed. Ah, oh, there, Henrich. Henrich Prince. Frederick Dem Grossen. Finally, we've reached Gandern Market. <laughs> or shall I say Gandern Market? <laughs> if I pronounce it right. And this will be the last stop for the night. For today. Yeah, for today. And probably just have dinner here. So here is how it looks. One thing I realized is it's more on outdoor dining, al fresco type. We came from the first one, which is near the Alexander Platz, but I feel like there's more people drinking there than eating, and maybe an hour or two, a lot of them will be drunk. So I think it's more safe here. Another day in Berlin and we are going to see the east side part of it we're in that's where the old Berlin wall is located and we're seeing part of it now converted it into a graffiti wall